Hello there. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the volume intermeter test outlined in ASTM C173. This is also part of the ACI grade one uh, field technician examination. You're going to need your volume intermeter, the cap of the volume intermeter, funnel, some 70% isopropyl alcohol, a couple of clean water sources, including one night and hour, at least to the uh, nearest time. Your rod, if you have a bad day, however you cut, mallet, syringe, and of course concrete sponge between water source. A lot of moving parts here. You can start out with the base of the volume area. Dampen the interior so that it's damp but not no cool water in there. You're going to fill this container in two lifts. It's the only test for field certification that isn't done in three lifts. Fill it halfway. Hold the rod down. Rod 25 times. Now it's 10 to 15 times. Now, if you're on your fill, you can add a little representative sample of the concrete. If you're very much overfilled, you can remove a bit of concrete. I think we're pretty good here. Take your strike off bar, don't strike off with a rod. Strike off the top of your container. Now, you need to clean this outside flange of the container. A lot of people will spend a lot of time cleaning the angled part here. And that's good to do, but that's not the part that matters. The part that needs to be cleaned to get a good seal is this top part here. So make sure Do a good job there. All right. Now we're going to take the top half of the volume aerator, stamp it down the interior a bit. Make sure you get this gasket wet. That's where you're going to seal. If that stays dry, there's a good chance you're going to leak. Make sure you get up in here too. Set the top over the base. Clamp it down. Insert the funnel. This is 
step a lot of people to get to do. You will be failed if you get too into the fun. You need to add at least one pint of water. You can add more, you can't add less. Good time to check and make sure you're not leaking. I don't appear to be. Once you've added the pint of water, you're going to add the selected amount of isopropyl alcohol. Now, in the field, this is something you've determined from practice. Uh, the isopropyl alcohol comes down on any foam in the mix when you shake and roll the aerator later. You want to make sure you don't have too much foam. Uh, for the purposes of today, I'm going to add one container, one 32 fluid ounce container. Yeah, 31 fluid ounce container. If you add less than two full containers, 64 ounces, then there's no alcohol correct in that. If you add a lot of alcohol, you've got a mix with a lot of air content or other admixtures in it. Uh, you may need to add two full containers or more. There would be a correction back from this just the table with the ASDM. Alright, now. Here's another step a lot of people mess up and they'll take out the funnel right now. Now's not the time. What you want to do is continue pouring water in here until you see water in the neck of the funnel, in the neck of the uh, area. It's going to take a lot. Once you've got the base filled with concrete, it takes about three quarters of a gallon to fill this thing up. Still not there. Oh, there we are. Actually happened pretty quick. Now you can see the water line sitting there. This is an older air meter. It's hard to see. If you come around and look from the top, you can see I'm in the neck of the air meter. Once you're anywhere in the neck, you can take out the funnel. Then you're going to use your syringe to get the water line up to the zero mark. Top mark here. And you are allowed to remove a bit of water if you go over. All right, we're there. Now, get the cap wet, put it on, hold the base, tighten the top. It's a wedge, it's not threaded, so you need to hold that base. Get a good tight seal in. Give yourself some space. You now need to do an inversion and shaking procedure for a minimum of 45 seconds. You need to invert the air meter, shake it, return it to upright. You can't have it upside down for more than five seconds at a time. And again, you need to do this for a minimum of 45 seconds. So there's a few ways you can do this. I prefer a method like this. You're trying to disturb the concrete from the base of the meter. I'm not too strong, I'm strong enough to do this. If this is a little too rough, you can always take it up to a shoulder and rock it like this. Again, the idea is keep it upside down for no more than five seconds at a time. 
you will start to hear the aggregate shaking around in the thing. That's 45 seconds, and not just because it's slow. So now, you need to roll it for one minute. Again, this is easier if you have a clock you can work and look at that's not on your wrist. But, say a little Put one hand on one of the flanges, and you're going to shake it rapidly back and forth. Many times, and then periodically, do a half rotation to the other flange. Doesn't matter which way you go, just make sure you don't hit anything around you. Go for one minute. Now there's, you can see here, we're at about two and a half percent. Uh, excuse me, two and three quarters. Go to the bottom of the phone. Now you can see here, we have less than one quarter of one percent foam. You can see the water lines at about two and three quarters, and there's a little bit of foam going up to two and a half. Read to the water lines, so two and three quarters. Just make a mental note of that. That's not anything right now. If you had more than four, two full percentage points worth of foam, you would need to uh, discard the test and restart uh, using more alcohol. Also, if you had more than 9% air, so high air content mix, you would need to add calibrated cups of water using this thing here and your water to bring the level up to a reading where you could actually see what the air content was. You then have to add the number of calibrated cups at the end of the test. One calibrated cup equals 1% air. You're going to wait a minimum of two minutes to see if this thing stabilizes. I've already been talking for about a minute, so we'll give it about a minute more. Now the idea here being you want to see that the reading you take after about two minutes is within a quarter of a percent of that initial glance you took when you first took the cap. If it's not, you've got to wait two more minutes. And then you check to see if it's stabilized again. You can wait up to six minutes for the level in this thing to stabilize, which is again defined as not more than a quarter of a percent change in two minutes. If it takes more than six minutes, you've got to discard the test, restart it using additional alcohol. I should have thought of some jokes to help me this part. Anyway, we'll call that our two minutes. Come back over here, take a reading. Again, you've got the foam. Go to the water line. Foam's at about two and a half. Water line's at about two and three quarters. That's where it was two minutes ago. So our reading hasn't changed. Our initial reading is now two and three quarter percent. You'd write that down if you wanted to, or just remember it. Put the cap back on and tighten it. Please don't forget this step. I have seen people forget this step, it makes a mess. You're not going to shake it again, but you are going to roll it for one more minute. So again, glance at your watch. Yep, 
can hold when you're rolling, 45 degree angle roughly between the meter and the ground, like I'm doing now. It's best to have at least one hand on the flange. Some people will do it just by twisting the neck of the air meter. I don't like that because this thing's on pretty good, but it is threaded and you can pop it loose occasionally if you're really twisting hard. Almost there. All right, so once again, pop the lid off, take an initial glance. You'll see a little less foam this time, but we're still at two and three quarter percent. You're now going to wait two minutes. And I'll spare you the two minutes, we'll just cut here. still within a quarter of a percent. Was two and three quarters. Now it's down to three. That's fine. Quarter of a percent, okay. Any more than that? And we'd need to cap it and roll it a third time. So we compare this reading, three percent, to the initial reading, two and three quarters. That's also within a quarter of a percent. That is the reading we got from the first rolling. So we're good. Again, two comparisons. One, the six minute stabilization, a quarter of a percent from the initial reading or whatever your last verified reading was. And you also compare the reading from the first time you rolled to the second time you rolled. So first time we rolled again, two and three quarters, second time we rolled three. That's a quarter percent, that's within the bounds, we're good. If we weren't good, like I said, we'd roll it a third time, and then compare the reading from the second time to the third time. If those two were also off by more than a quarter percent, we'd need to restart the test. Hopefully that won't happen to you. Once you get a final reading, pour out the contents of the air meter. <laughs> all the liquid out and get the liquid out before you take the base off otherwise you're going to make a huge mess and then you're going to dump out the contents of the air meter. What you're looking for is undisturbed concrete. Like this stuff right here, that's not undisturbed. That looks like rock and sand. That's fine if that's in the base of the air meter. If anything looks like that in the base of the air meter, then you didn't shake it hard enough, you didn't roll it hard enough, you gotta restart the test, shake it harder next time. And you can see, we're just rocking sand all the way down, so this would be a valid test. And that's all there is to it, good luck. <laughs>